in this lecture we are going to see the topic uh, input buffering techniques so in the last class uh, we have seen about uh, lexical analysis and uh, what is the role of lexical analysis here also um, we are going to see about uh, lexical analysis but uh, the technique have to be used uh, in lexical analysis is input buffering technique so what is the use of input buffering techniques to be used in lexical analysis we will see so we know the role of lexical analysis it is a scanner uh, so which is used to read or scan the input uh, stream from left to right to identify the token and also lexical analysis scan the uh, input uh, input character by character that is letter by letter so um however many characters beyond the next token may have uh, to be examined before the next token itself can be determined if the lexemes are very high in the sense then uh, we can't uh, determine whether it is a token or not so for this reasons uh, the lexical analysis using the concept of input buffer in the right side diagram you can uh, see that this is the concept of input buffer so the buffer can be divided into two halves so uh, the first half and second half a uh, second half may have the number of characters 1024 or 4096 which means each buffer uh, may hold the number of characters or letters 1024 or 4096 up to 4096 uh, we can um, fill the source program into input buffer by uh, for performing lexical analysis Uh, there are two pointers so the first pointer is lexeme beginning and the second pointer is forward which was given as bold bold letter so lexeme beginning which is used to indicate the beginning of the particular lexeme so forward pointer which is used to move forward uh, from left to right to identify the particular token so the forward pointer moving from one cell to another cell until it is found the well formed token so at the end of the buffer uh, they are having eof that is end of file that is the sentinel character which was uh, used to indicate the end of the file source file so the pointer forward pointer um, used to moving from left to right to identify the tokens there is one algorithm for um, moving forward from left to right so forward pointer if forward pointer at the end of the first half because there are two halves so if the forward pointer placed at the end of the first half then uh, the lexical analysis reload the source program into the second half so the forward pointer move uh, moves from one cell to another cell that is from left to right so the coding is forward to forward plus 1 because uh, the the for uh, the pointer have to move from one cell to another cell that is forward to forward plus one end otherwise if forward pointer at the end of the second half then uh, the lexical analysis reload the first half of the buffer so again the same one forwards equal to forward plus one forward is equal to forward plus one which is uh, used to move the pointer from one cell to another cell here forward indicating the forward pointer so now um, the they are using one special character that is sentinel you can see that the difference between uh, this diagram and this diagram in this diagram uh, the eof end of file is placed only at the end of the second half only but in this uh, diagram the end of file eof sentinel character used at uh, used at the end of both halves uh, the eof is placed at the first half and also second half so eof is a sentinel character which is used to indicate the end of the uh, buffer so again uh, another algorithm for uh, uh, reading the characters in the input buffer the same algorithm uh, have to be placed here but there is only the small change is here uh, it start with the forward pointer that is forward is equal to forward plus 1 here we are checking only one condition if the forward pointer uh, is placed in the end of file eof then uh, it go to the forward uh, it uh, it is going to check either either if the forward at the end of the first half or otherwise if the forward pointer at the end of the second half depending on that um, the uh, lexical analysis reload the 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑफ द बफर और सेकेंड ऑफ ऑफ द बफर बट द कॉन्सेप्ट इज द सेम टू बी प्रेजेंटेड इन दिस अलगोरदम दिस अलगोरदम इज मेनली यूज टू मूव द सेल फ्रॉम वन मूव द पॉइंटर Uh, to move from one cell to another cell of the input buffer uh, to identify the lo- uh, token by lexical analysis so uh, this is the input buffer so here you can uh, see that the lexeme have to be uh, filled in that input buffer integer space i comma j colon i is equal to j plus 1 if uh, if the white space that is blank space to be presented in the program then the cell have to be uh, remains uh, in empty empty right so the lexical analysis scan the input from left to right and character by character it uses two pointers here bp or fp forward pointer and begin pointer or otherwise we can using lexeme beginning in the previous slide we saw that uh, lexeme beginning but here also we can uh, use it as beginning pointer begin pointer bp forward pointer is fp initially both the pointer have to be placed in the first cell only after uh, after that time uh, the forward pointer only move from one cell to another cell the um, begin pointer have to be placed in the first cell itself so initially both the pointers uh, point to the first character of the input string as shown as below diagram so the forward pointer moves occurred to search for the end of the lexeme consider this here initially both the begin pointer and forward pointer have, have to be placed in the first cell i right after that uh, the begin pointer have to be placed in the same cell i but forward pointer has to go on the second cell n then the second step the begin pointer uh, is placed in the same place but the forward pointer goes on to the third cell t right so after again uh, the forward pointer goes to the next cell so the next cell is empty so whenever empty means uh, the lexical analysis understand that uh, that was the blank space that is empty space so whenever empty space to be present and uh, lexical analysis group those character between forward pointer and begin pointer so here begin pointer is pointed as i and forward pointer pointed as t so uh, the group of i and t so now the lexical analysis found that int int is a keyword keyword uh, is a token for that particular lexeme int right this is the concept of input buffering so now oh, there are two concept is one uh, one is one buffer scheme and the second one is two two buffer scheme already we saw that in the previous slides so one buffer means um, there is only one buffer for filling the uh, source program um, of the input so if the one buffer scheme is followed then uh, we can store the input stream but the problem here is if the lexeme if the input uh, source program is very long then it crosses the buffer boundary and also uh, the rest of the lexeme uh, that makes overwriting to the first of the lexeme so this is the problem that's why they are going with the two buffer scheme which means the buffer can be divided into two halves so for each half they can uh, fill the lexeme as 1024 characters or 4096 characters for each half of the input buffer and after they are using sentinel character that is eof end of file so that end of file have to be placed at the end of each half to indicate the end of file 